welcome back to the channel if you haven't already hit subscribe tap the bell and give this video a thumbs up right now i'm just out in the field um in the gator i've gone to check on um the ewes and lambs that have been turned out check that they're doing all right when i get back to the yard i've got a few i need to turn out today um, but before i do i've got to dock some tails and castrate some ram lambs so for those who don't know I'll explain a little bit of why we do that while I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, then we can get some more lambs turned out, free up some pens um, for the ewes and lambs that are uh, due to follow. So it's really good to see lambs out in the field. This one here has just had a single nice black lamb. <laughs> this is the latest arrival, another single. This mum has had four lambs, which is uh, obviously quite a lot of lambs for one ewe. Um, triplets are common, quads do happen, um, but I'm gonna have to take two off her, I think. Turn her out with two lambs, put two on the bottle. Right, so I'm gonna dock some tails now, um, do some castration so I can turn these lambs out with their mums. Um, this is a little ram lamb here. I'm going to dock his tail first and then uh, I'm going to have to sort out his uh, bits and pieces. Basically, the reason we dock their tails is um, to stop any buildup of uh, poo um, on their tails, which can cause uh, fly strike, which is where flies will lay maggots um, under the wool. If that happens, it can cause a lot of discomfort to the sheep and if not caught early, it can kill them as well. So you dock the tail um, a bit shorter. Um, just to prevent any future problems. So what we do is we use a rubber ring to dock the tail. That will stop the blood flow to the tail um, and eventually it will um, fall off. Easiest way to do it is to hold the lamb between your legs, get the tail, put it through the ring, and you want the, uh, the, 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 the tail to go over the, uh, the back end. So that's about right there. So basically now that bit of tail there will, um, will die off and fall off, leaving him with a shorter tail uh, to prevent any future issues with uh, flies and maggots. So time to sort out his bits and pieces as well. I find it easier when you flip the lamb upside down like this. Same thing, use the ring. There we go. Yep, so like uh, I think I said in my last video, you want to make sure both his bits and pieces are the right side of the ring and that you're not pinching his teats either. So you can go back to mum for a bit and then we'll turn you out and you can go outside in the, uh, in the sunshine on the grass. So I'm going to do the same with this ram lamb. He's uh, the brother to the other one, so they can all go out together with their mum. There you go then mate, and go back with mum for a bit before I turn you out. So yeah, the reason we castrate uh, the ram lambs is to stop any unwanted breeding happening in the future. So that along with the tail docking is basically preventing any future issues. So I'm gonna get ready to turn those two out with their mum now. Um, get them out into the sunshine, it's a lovely day. Um, I think the mums will be happy to be out on some grass. So yeah, let's get them turned out. <laughs> It's always nice seeing uh, new lambs outside. And yeah, one thing I did forget to say when I was doing the docking and the castration um, is that to keep up with welfare standards, you've got to um, 
You've got to drop their tails. No younger than 24 hours old, but no older than seven days. So those lambs are a day and a half old. So perfect uh, time to do it. Um, I prefer to do it before turnout. Um, it's much easier than trying to uh, catch them in the field. Because once they're a couple of days old and they're bouncing around running, running around, it's hard to catch them sometimes. Got another brand new lamb. So I penned her up. Um, with her first lamb. Looks like she's going to have another one. Lots of twins this year, which is really good. Got a few triplets and uh, the odd single. But lots of twins, which is just what you want. New life, it really is amazing. It still fascinates me how quickly they stand up after being born. So it's lunchtime for the Cade lambs. We're about three on the bottle at the moment. Um, they're all as a result of multiple births triplets um, so this one's brother and sister are out with its mum but it was getting uh, left out a little bit um, there's a bit of pressure on the mum as well it's not often you leave three on a U. so yep so they're on about a litre a day split over four feeds once they're, uh, once they're a day or two old, that's about what you need to be giving them. You're a hungry little one. Right, so I've just given the uh, ewes some fresh straw. I'm now going to uh, get them a bale of lucerne. So I'm going to get the loader out.
thanks for watching everybody. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I hope everybody is keeping safe and well during these difficult times. Um, I just feel very fortunate to be able to crack on and carry on working because uh, obviously I, I work where I live so I am very lucky to do that. So yeah, stay home, stay safe and we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.